Hi there, uh, Bob Brady from Promotion Physical Therapy here again. Um, recently I got asked a question from a client who called in and they were wondering how long it would take for their rotator cuff tear to heal. And I thought it would be a, a good topic to talk a little bit about. And uh, answer the question is how long does it take for it to heal and does it heal? So uh, the big thing that I want to tell you is that um, rotator cuff tear, once you have one, likely will not heal on its own. However, the big thing to remember is that you can get better, meaning less pain, better movement, better function from your shoulder with a rotator cuff tear, even without surgery. So this has been studied a whole bunch. There's been a lot of studies that look at surgery versus a sham or a fake surgery versus a rehab only. And what they find is that for some uh, rotator cuff tears, when we look at the outcomes a year out from surgery and two years out from surgery, there's no difference in outcomes whether you have surgery or not. The other thing, and, and this was a really cool study, they followed people who had a diagnosed rotator cuff tear for five years to see if their rotator cuff tear got worse, to see if their pain got worse, see, see if they could use their arm less. And what they found is that people diagnosed with a rotator cuff tear, if they followed them five years out, the majority of those patients were doing very well. All right, so it didn't necessarily get worse. A lot of those patients had some rehab done um, for the shoulder, conservative care or, or uh, appropriate treatment on the shoulder can definitely help you recover from a diagnosed rotator cuff tear. One other point that I want to make is that if you're over the age of 50 and your shoulder gradually starts hurting you, there was no fall or anything like that, and it doesn't start to get better and you go ahead and have an MRI, chances are it's gonna show a rotator cuff tear. And that's because rotator cuff tears, even in people without symptoms who have an MRI done, are very common. So many of us, as we get older, even though our shoulders don't hurt, if we were to have an MRI on our shoulders, it may show a rotator cuff tear. So the tear is not always the cause of the problem. And even if you do have a tear, most of the time you can uh, rehab your way out of it. And what I would say is that um, because of this and knowing this information, if you've been diagnosed with a rotator cuff tear, first step <clears throat> is conservative care. Physical therapy, rehab, have some work done on it, show some exercises to work on mobility, to work on strengthening, persevere with it, give it some time and it likely will improve. If it does not improve, surgery is always an option for you. A rotator cuff tear is not like a heart attack where it's an emergency surgery that's needed. You can always go and do it. Um, but I usually recommend that patients try a conservative route first. And the reason for this is you can keep on living, you can keep on working, you can keep on doing many of the things that you want to do. If you have a rotator cuff surgery, you're in a sling, depending on the surgeon, anywhere from four to eight weeks, you're off of work, you can't use your arm, it's difficult sleeping, and then you're also gonna be going through a prolonged rehab phase. So, and many people, many surgeons will say that, you know, it's gonna take a good six to nine months, sometimes up to a year till your shoulder is better. So it's a long, painful process after a rotator cuff repair. So if you've been diagnosed with a rotator cuff tear, know that it, not, it won't necessarily heal on its own, but you can get help with the pain, you can get help with the mobility, you can get help with the strength, and many times get help with the function uh, without doing surgery. So if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to reach out to me and I'd be happy to talk with you. You can do a free consult if you need to to see if, uh, if uh, rehab might be a good option for your shoulder. Thank you.